Hey everybody, Joe here. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Okay, um, well, I've been doing some scouring of the uh, internet uh, this past week. And I've come up with uh, quite a bit of stuff here for today's broadcast. Um, first off, let me say to everybody out there who is a subscriber to my YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything that you've done, everything that you've been, supportive, the whole nine yards absolutely fantastic and I thank you so much for being there for me um, I thank you for putting up with my technical glitches I thank you for putting up with all of my 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 cuts and everything else that I've been doing in all of my videos since for a while now and putting up with the uh, all of the technical issues that I've been having to deal with as I learn how to do this stuff. I want to say thank you very much to everybody out there. Um, yeah, officially, my channel is now at 100 subs. As I said in the Vapes Across the Pond uh, video I put up yesterday, um, that's when it went to 100 subs. Um, I'm going to be leaving open the contest to all of my present subscribers, everybody who's there now, um, who subscribed up to 100. Uh, if you want to get in on the, uh, the giveaway for the Limo 2, then you have to send me an email to myvapingplace at outlook.com. In the subject line, you have to put your name. In other words, the name that you subscribe to my channel with. So if it was Hot Babe or uh, Vapes A Lot or whatever, okay? Put that into the subject line and in the body of the email, the where you would normally write your message, just put in a plus sign and a number one. I will be still accepting people uh, sending me in emails until the 4th of June. After the 4th of June, it will no longer be open. Anybody who sends me an email after the 4th of June will not, I repeat, not be entered into the giveaway this is open only to people who have subscribed to my channel from right from the get-go when you when I first started this channel up until now okay um, this is my way albeit small um, compared to some other reviewers out there who have you know tons of stuff to give away I've got very little and the stuff that I've got most of it 99% of it is stuff that I've bought with my own money and this is my way of saying thank you uh, to everybody out there who has supported me all these months so yeah um, I've got to turn around and do I, I, I actually did record the the build of it as a uh, pre-recorded thing that I was going to play back during the um, during the show, but the way it's going to have to be is I'm going to have to record that because next week is going to be next week and the week after are going to be absolutely horrendous. Um, I've got to pull an overtime overnight shift from sat next Saturday into next Sunday. Uh, which means that by the time I get off, I am going to be so dog beat knackered, it's not even funny. Um, that's for that reason, I am going to be uh, not on the air next week. So um, don't expect me to be here. Um, I'm also considering as to whether or not I am going to be 
here on this channel anymore. Um, there's been a, quite a bit of controversy going on. I've been doing some of my own looking into things, and I've been ghosting uh, quite a few of the channels here on Vapors TV, those channels that are actually left. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't like some of the things that I've seen here. So um, I think this is probably going to be my last broadcast here on Vapors TV. Um, any and all future broadcasts that I make will be on YouTube through the YouTube media. And uh, we'll take it from there and see what happens. Um, either I'll keep it on YouTube or I'll go someplace else. It will depend upon what I see and where people, where the rest of people hang their hats um, in the near future. Uh, yeah, um, I've got a few reviews that are going to be coming up um, in the next couple, in the next week or so. Um, I was going to try and get out a review on my vape milk juice that I got in, um, last week I believe it was, um, but I haven't had a chance to get to it. Things have been absolutely crazy for me this weekend and I've got to work tomorrow. So, oops. Um, yeah. So. I also have a review that I want to do on this, the iStick 200, which I got in. If anybody happened to notice, um, I put up a small little, I think it's like 45 second video of the unbagging when it came in. And uh, I got that to do. Uh, I've got an aromamizer RDTA that's going to be coming in probably within the next week or so. Um, I have been talking with some people over at Coilmaster and they are sending me some items to do reviews on. Um, most of the stuff everybody's seen already, but it's my take on what these device, what these items are going to be. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, that's the way that is. So. Um, I got a lot of stuff that's going to be coming down in the next week or two, both um, from a personal level as well as a channel, as well as channel-wise. So yeah, things are things are going to be a little bit crazy around here. So yeah, like I said, next week I'm not going to be on, and I this is going to be my last broadcast on Vapors TV. So. Uh, now, as to the stuff that I've been seeing on uh, the web and everything else this past week. Um, on Vapors TV, uh, I think, I forget if it was Monday or if it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday. They had a thing on there, uh, a couple of news pieces on there about uh, some stuff that was going on over there in the UK. Uh, there was a blog by a lady called, by, oh, what was her last name? Her first name was Viv, and she was off of the, uh, she is the head of the prenatal smoking, ah, Viv Bennett, yes. Uh, she's the person in charge of the uh, Stop Smoking campaign for um, Public Health England. Uh, dealing with uh, pregnancies and everything. I just put up the URL to a blog post that she put up. And the very last line of it, I wish I was able to bring up the actual, um, the actual web page here, but the best I can do right now is put up the, uh, the URL here. Um, the bottom line is, is that they're actually going to be telling women who smoke and who are or have become pregnant and that express a desire to stop smoking that if the preferred method 
will of course be patches and gums but if that doesn't work or if the lady prefers not to use patches and gums uh, they will be able to advise her uh, officially that e-cigarettes are a good way or vape personal vaporizers uh, electronic nicotine delivery systems as the FDA likes to call them um, are actually preferable to her smoking and they will actually actively be encouraging these ladies to use uh, ends to quit smoking okay um, very good very good very good it is this is official uh, from the Public Health England so yeah it's it's big thumbs up on that one um, let's see what else do I have here uh, yeah there is another where is that other one ah yes there it is let me just bring this up here this is another uh, URL um, this URL deals with Sweden Sweden will no longer as of I think it's last Thursday be looking at electronic nicotine delivery systems you'll have to excuse the uh, the, the, the music outside that's not my doing that happens to be coming off of an ice cream truck which happened to decide to park directly across from my house and I have to have the windows open because it's hotter than hell around here so hold on a second ah all right at least I can cut it down a little bit sorry about that uh, yeah so this is official that uh, as of I forget, I think it was like I said last Thursday uh, Sweden will no longer be looking at e-cigarettes ends whatever you want to call them uh, as being medical devices so long as they do not try to make any claims of being able to help smokers quit well um, I don't know about you One of the byproducts of me vaping has been me quitting. So, I don't know. Just two more pieces. Copy down the URLs and you should be able to get over there to, to take a look at them. Uh, if you want, you can just do a screenshot. Um, next thing. This one is probably one of the most insidious things that I've had a chance to read well I haven't read through it completely but from what I've read of it it's oh my god Dave and I'm talking to Dave Dorn now right now if he happens to watch this uh, because he he does watch some of my stuff um, at least I believe he does um, if you happen to be listening to this plug your ears up okay I'm going to mention a name that I know you hate so please don't go throwing anything at your computer screen otherwise you're liable to have to buy a new monitor the person who I'm of whom I speak is a person I will not even classify him by the name by the word gentleman of Chapman okay him and a few of his other cronies at the uh, University of Sydney down in Australia had came up with a document that they are passing around amongst the, amongst themselves uh, decide as to a discussion on how to as they put it um, deal with some of the more troublesome points of electronic cigarettes something to that effect I was reading it earlier and I tried I, I definitely tried to memorize it but 
it, it just got me so pissed off. It's not even funny. And I, I just like kind of sort of blocked it. So, yeah, if you want to read through it, uh, this is the URL. Let me move that up there and make it, maybe make it a little easier. You can also go to my uh, Twitter page. I tweeted it out and um, yeah, it's it's not nice. Okay, definitely not nice. If you read it, make sure you either have an antacid nearby, a good stiff drink, something to help you get through it. Okay, so I'm going to move this down here because the next thing that I want to discuss is something that I happened to come across this morning. A gentleman who is over there in England, over in the UK, um, you probably recognize his name, Damien Mortar. If you don't recognize his name, go to YouTube and look up for a bloody good vaping. Uh, he is a vape reviewer. I didn't know this until this morning, but he is also quite a talented singer and musician. And he just put up a he just put up a video. Hey Willie HD. Lock and Rocket. Len Rocket, how you doing? I'm um, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to chat. My apologies, guys. Um he also put up a uh, a video on YouTube with a song that he composed and he performed on there. I just put up the uh, the YouTube video's uh, URL there. So if you really want to take a look at something, and he has got one hell of a voice. The man is extremely talented. Um, I was sitting there listening to this song and I was just like, my mouth was hanging open. I was like, oh my God, that is so good. So yeah, Damien, street shout out to you, man. You Good song, really good song. Um, kudos, bro. One other little thing I want to cover on um, here. Uh, geez, I thought I had so much content today. <laughs> and here it is. It's only 19 minutes into the broadcast and I'm pretty much contented out except for the last thing here. Um, if you'll look over that way, you'll see a white box sitting next to... Oh, sorry. Wrong way. That way. Yeah. There you go. I keep forgetting the camera is a little bit backwards. And that I'm on this side over here as opposed to... Well, never mind. You'll see a white box there that says, Scan here and sign to save vaping. That I put up for our brothers and sisters over in the UK. That... QR, that Q code, if you scan it, it will take you to the, um, to the petition <clears throat> that they have been putting out. Um, yeah, no, you can't copy and paste from the main screen. I'm sorry about that. Um, and I don't have it loaded into the tablet here, so I can't just pop it up here on to, into chat um, something I should have considered but if you got a the, you can do it the old pe fashion way pen and paper um, you can write it down um, this will be going up onto YouTube a little later on so you'll be able to actually pause it and you can actually pause it if you want you can go over there to the far left just underneath the screen and pause the stream so you can actually take it and write it down um, I just hope it's large enough for you. Um, I am recording this right now, so I will be putting it up onto YouTube a little later on. So that'll actually be in 1280 by 720. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, 1280 by 720. 
so uh, it'll be a little bit larger for you to see and a little bit easier for you to uh, jot down all of the URL um, yeah so that that scan here and sign if you do the yeah there you go thank you wormhole appreciate that um, if you were to take your phone and scan that Q code that's up there that will take you to the petition website that um, NNA and a few other places um, have been running to send a petition to not only the House of Lords but now to the Commons as well uh, and it is not just limited to people who are living in the UK or who are citizens of the UK this is actually open worldwide so if you scan that Q code and you go over there you can sign up on that petition to help our brothers and sisters over there in the UK and uh, to actually uh, maybe help them save vaping over there because they have been doing some phenomenal research and some phenomenal science over there and they're actually wrecking the their government is doing what should have been done here in the States recognizing that vaping is viable recognizing that it can help smokers get off of cigarettes it's not as harmful as smoking cigarettes the whole everything that we have been saying for years they are finally recognizing the science is actually being there from the Royal College of Physicians Public Health England is recognizing it and officially recognizing it at that and and including it in its 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 therapies so yeah they can if they can just get rid of the TPD which could very well be done by the vote in the House of Lords and probably within the next week or so it's called if the fatal motion um, that will kill the entirety of the TPD once and for all throughout all of the UK there was something that was just laid down I think it was uh, Friday or Saturday uh, it was tabled in the House uh, House of Commons over there when they say tabled they mean actually presented before the House of Commons unlike over here in the States where if it says that it's been tabled that means that it's been put on the table and it will stay there until it's got about an inch and a half or two inches of dust on it and they decide to just sweep it off there and clean off the table a little bit okay so it's two different things so just a little a little something for you guys to know but yeah uh, it's been introduced into the House of Commons a bill to actually remove article 20 of the tobacco products directive out of the TPD which means that all the rest of the stuff in the TPD uh, dealing with cigarettes uh, dealing with pipe tobacco cigars etc etc ad nauseum will still be in there the e-cigarette provision will just be kind of <laughs> sucked out of there and in and, and sent to the netherworld um, at least for all of those places that are under the jurisdiction of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, the House of Lords bill, on the other hand, uh, the House of Lords motion, excuse me, will kill the TPD in its entirety, period, end of quotation. Everything is into the bin or as we say on this side of the pond into the trash can so yeah um, they have a quite a few things going over there plus if none I neither of those two things works there's always the BR exit vote which is going to be coming up sometime next month which if you're over on the other side of the pond in case you haven't noticed about it you actually have to go down and register to vote in that particular election don't think that just because you're registered to vote 
as a citizen of the UK uh, and you've been voting in your regular parliamentary elections and your regular local elections, etc., that it's going to carry over. Uh-uh. You have to go down to wherever you register to vote and register to vote specifically for the UK exit vote. That's how the government is going to gerrymander this vote. Because people are going to show up at the polls and think that they're registered to vote and they're going to try to go and vote and they're going to say, uh, so sorry, you're not registered to vote here. You can't re vote in this election. And people are going to go, say what? And the entire election of whether or, uh, the entire vote is going to get totally screwed up and it is probably going to show and you can I'm going to make a prediction here that they the vote on the British the UK exit from the EU is going to turn around and say that they're going to stay in the EU why because people don't know that they actually have to sign up and register to vote in this election. So if you're a UK citizen, make sure you get your tail feathers down there to wherever it is that you have to uh, register to vote and that you vote, that you register specifically for this election. Okay? This is probably going to be one of the most significant elections slash resolutions, whatever the hell you want to call it, voting events in the history of not just the United Kingdom, but England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland by themselves. Oh, excuse me. No offense, the Isle of Man as well, and all of the Channel Islands, okay? So, yeah, guys, get your tails up, get down there, register for the UK exit vote, make sure that you're registered so you can vote in this thing. I'm not telling you how to vote, I'm just telling you that you got to get down there and you got to register for this particular election, otherwise you ain't going to get in, Okay? So, that's that on that point. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm talking so much about this, for those of us over here on this side of the pond, is that we need to have as much science. We need to have as much non-anecdotal evidence that we can get and we can have readily available for us so that way when it comes time for those people who are not only suing the FDA to get up in front of a judge and get up in front of a jury if it goes to a jury uh, trial to show them that vaping is not this demon thing that the FDA try is trying to make it out to be and that here's the science, that it's actually better than smoking. If the FDA wants to ban something and do a prohibition on something, they should be doing it on cigarettes. Okay? But no, they won't do that because A, there's a lot of money involved in it. B, there's a lot of money involved in it. C, there's a lot of votes involved in it. D, there's a lot of money involved in it. it you kind of get where I'm going with this? Yeah. Um, there are quite a few senators and representatives in the House that um, if they were to ever try to ban tobacco cigarettes, they would probably get run out of town in their constitu out of whatever town they happen to be in in their constituency sti cons da, 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 constituencies uh, on a rail 
balls ass naked with some nice hot tar and feathers on it. They'll be they'll be getting themselves a Boston uh, Boston mare ride. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they 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 won't do that. So the best thing that they can do to save their cash cow, um, and to ensure that they've got more billions and billions and billions of dollars more coming in to the uh, federal treasury is to get rid of vaping. Get rid of it. Make it so onerous. Make it so damn near impossible for anybody or any company to either do business or to acquire that which they need um, that you go back to the stinkies. Yeah. Yeah. This way they can get their money and they can get their taxes and they can ensure that you're not going to live long enough to be able to draw too much money off of Social Security. So that way they can continue to pilfer, plunder, and pirate the Social Security Trust Fund to fund their individual pork barrel schemes that they have been doing for years. Okay? Yeah. There's a lot of money, bucks, moolah. Kesev, yeah, all that good stuff. Whatever the hell you want to call it, that's what's in there. So, yeah, um, they want to make sure that you don't, you go back to smoking so they can tax your ass now while you're alive. And that when you die, you'll die soon enough so that way they don't have to pay you any more money. Yeah. And in the meantime, their buddies in tobacco will be making money. Um, their buddies in Big Pharma will be making money trying to get, trying to sell you the patches and the gums and stuff like that to help you quit smoking. Um, and when you finally do get sick, they'll be making money selling you the drugs and the, quote, cures, close quote, for whatever cancer or et cetera, et cetera, that you happen to acquire as a result of your cigarette use. And, of course, the doctors will be making their money hand over fist from performing the uh, functions of their uh, particular um, profession. Uh, plus, the hospitals will be making money. Um, the nursing homes, because you're sure as hell not going to be able to stay home and do all of this stuff. Uh, you may be to the point where you are, have to be in a health-related facility. In which case, the nursing homes or health-related facilities will be making money from you there. The doctors in those places will, that cover those health-related facilities will be making money hand over fist from you. Um, you'll be keeping a lot of bureaucrats and a lot of uh, federal employees in gainful employment because they will have to be administering these programs. Excuse me one minute. So yeah, there's a lot of money involved. And believe it or not, some of those unions out there would probably like to see um would probably like to see you guys go back to smoking too because not only that when you die off soon, they don't have to pay your uh the remainder of your 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 pension. And it's cheaper to pay out a small death benefit than it is to pay out all those hundreds and thousands of some cases damn near close to millions of dollars in pension benefits and if you die quick enough then they don't have to turn around and be paying out all of that money that you're going to have to charge against your union health insurance plan yeah so everybody not only saves money everybody makes money and I still haven't gone into about all of those um, anti-agencies uh, and, and organizations like the American Cancer Society that will still be making money hand over fist from the federal government trying to help prevent lung cancer. The American Lung Association, the American Cancer Society, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, ad nauseum, just to name two off the top of my head. You know, plus God knows how many other 
organizations out there that are, have sprung up to suckle off of the federal anti-smoking teat. Um, yeah, um, there's billions and billions and billions of dollars out there that are at stake. And these things, these things are putting that all in jeopardy. That's the reason why they want to get rid of them. They want to regulate them into the grave. They know that if they went and outright prohibit it and did a prohibition on it like they did on alcohol back in the 1920s, that they probably wind up having just as big a problem of black market, bootleggers, etc., etc., popping up to deal with juice. Plus, also, if you haven't ever noticed, if the government bans something that is almost like the, 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 the kiss of life to that product in the black market and in, in, in underground circles... Everybody and his brother, ooh, if the government banned it, it's got to be good. So, yeah, they don't want to outright prohibit it because that would be counterproductive to them. By making it tobacco products, they can now tax it. The states can tax it. The local governments can tax the living hell out of it because now it's a sin tax. So, yeah, the, they'll be able to make up some mo- some of the money that they lose from cigarettes. Um, they'll be able to control the living hell out of it. And by controlling the living hell out of it, make people get to the point where they just say, ah, F this, and they go back to the stinkies, and, well, they still get their money. Yeah. So, it's a win-win situation for them. They put in these draconian regulations and they win and we lose so we need to do everything everything in our power ooh excuse me to see to it that vaping stays around for a long time. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record here. But if you live over in the UK, scan that scan that barcode, that Q code. If you live over there and if you want a copy of it, I've just posted it up on my YouTube channel. At the end of this broadcast, I will have a screen there that has all of my contact lists on it. So you can just copy that down and get over to my uh, Facebook page. If you want a fresh copy of it with um, a .png .png extension on there so you can paste it up on a, a YouTube channel or you can paste it up on a website, be my guest. Just give me a message and I'll send it over to you. If you're a vape reviewer over there in the UK and you want a copy of this, give me a PM. I will send you over a copy of it, just like the one that you see there on my screen. It's got the it's got a transparent background and it's completely white. You can put it up on your YouTube channel. Um so that way people who are watching your TV watching your YouTube show can just take their phones, scan that, go there and sign up on sign the petition. All of you YouTube viewers on this side of the pond, we need to show some love for our brothers and sisters over there in the UK. Why don't you get off your butts and start putting up that on your YouTube channel as well? Don't forget you got a lot of YouTubers, a lot of you review uh, that 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 that. Excuse me. Uh, you've got a lot of subscribers over there in the YouTube, uh, over there in the UK. Um, put that up to them, for them. 
Uh, if you're not into vaping, if you're not on a vaping channel, put that up anyway. Reach some of those non-vapers that need to sign up on this. This can't be just a vapors only party. We need to get people out there who have family members who are vapors. We need to get people out there who are we who who have um family members who are smokers. Okay? We need to get people out there who know people who are smokers to turn around and get this TPD the hell out of England. Because if you can break the shell in one place, the rest of the shell is going to crack all over the world. Because now you have precedence. Now you have factual evidence that can be used in other places as well okay i'm going to put up something right now that a friend of mine norbert on facebook sent me this morning this is a cartoon he's over in germany okay give me a second here The initial one that I saw was all in German. And I turned around, I sent him a tweet back saying, damn, I wish my German was good enough. My German is non-existent, except for a couple of words here and there. Wormhole, thanks, mate. Um, he sent me back these. This is the first one that he sent me back, the English version of it. As I said, he's over in Germany. This will give you an idea of what they're dealing with in Germany. Okay? Hold on to your uh, tight. This is a cartoon that he sent me. As you can see, the Inquisitor is pushing down the vapor into the water. If she drowns, she's innocent. In other words... If she drowns, well, she drowns. And if she floats, then she's not innocent. It's just the same kind of stuff that they did in, during the days of the Inquisition. Okay? Here's another cartoon. You're going to love this one. As you can see, the copyright symbol is on there, and it's the copyright notification is showing up very well. So... Here's another cartoon he sent me. He called this the Oracle of Heidelberg. This is what German vapors have to deal with from the ants out there. Um, they're turning around and they're fighting like hell over in Germany to turn around and try and kill off vaping. They're under as much gun, they're under the gun over there just as much as they are in England and just as much as we are over here. The ants. They know no boundaries. They know no national borders. They don't recognize that international borders do exist. They're just as much of a pain in the ass over there in every member state of the EU as they are over here in the States and in England. But England is actually managing to get away from it. They're actually fighting back. They're actually starting to win. And we need to support our brothers and sisters over there in the UK because if we can get them, then we can get the rest of the EU. Then we can turn around and tell Chapman to go shove his bullshit up his ass over in Australia. New Zealand will turn around and will be able to, will be a vaping country where they recognize the good that vaping can do and the fact that it is so much less harmful than cigarettes that no one will mind us vaping. Yeah. We need to fight. We need to fight on all fronts. We need to fight 
in every country and if there's a place where there's one vapor fighting for his or her right to vape we need as a world community as a world community to support that person we need to bring to bear any and all influence that we can to help support those vapors that are under the gun. I don't know if you know it or not, but did you realize that pretty much throughout most of South America, vaping is pretty much forbidden? Or as they'd say over in, over in Deutschland, verboten, that it's actually a crime? Did you know that you could get locked up and thrown in jail and in, into into jail in Indonesia if you're selling e-cigs or you're selling juice or in any way shape or form trying to help other vapors get that stuff? Yeah. You'd be a criminal. You'd get locked up and thrown in one of their deep dark holes over there. You can use it as you can be a vapor. You can't sell anything for anything vaping related. You can't import anything vaping related. If you do, you're a smuggler and subject to the same kinds of criminal penalties that somebody who's smuggling in marijuana, cocaine, heroin, etc., etc. ad nauseum faces. Yeah. Literally beheading. Yeah. Death penalty. There are places in this world where the penalties for being a vapor or helping people to vape are a lot more horrendous than you could ever possibly imagine. Here in the States, the regulations that the FDA has put in, as draconian as they are, pale in comparison to some of the stuff other places in this world. We need to support each other. The ants are out there supporting each other. If one ant out there sees something going on in his or her country, they immediately get on the ant phone and get in touch with somebody from some other country and before you know it they've got resources being made available to them to counter e-cigs like you wouldn't believe they can muster so much money so much talent so much influence that you don't want to you 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 really don't want to know you really don't we need to make the same commitment. We need to be able to bring to bear against the anti-vaping conglomeration, the anti-vaping machine. We need to be able to bring it to bear on them and be able to counter their BS anywhere in the world that we need, that a vapor is in trouble. I'm sorry to say to those ants out there who would probably say that any, um, any research that's done in England, any research that's done here in the States, any research that's done in Spain, in Sweden, Germany, France, Belgium, etc., etc., ad nauseum. I hate to tell you guys, but your lungs 
are built the same as our lungs. So if the if the information that we develop, the facts that we present don't add up to what you think they should because it wasn't done in your country tough shit there are differences genetically yes there are there are genetic differences between white people black people yellow people Hispanic people. Yeah. There's genetic differences. But we all work the same. What works in the United States will work in Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay. It'll work in Burma, Malaysia, India, China, Japan. New Zealand. It will work in Kenya. It'll work in Mozambique. It'll work in Sierra Leone. It'll work in any one of those countries that's there. Morocco. It'll work in Saudi Arabia. It'll work in Sudan. It'll work in Kuwait. It'll work in any country. Anywhere in the world because we're all built pretty damn much the same. Minor differences, but it'll work the same. So, just because it was developed someplace else, the information was developed somewhere else in the world, doesn't mean that it's any less valid for your corner of the world. And that goes for you guys at the FDA as well. In spades. With all of your anecdotal bull cripe. Okay. So. I think that's pretty much all that I can say on this matter right now. Yet again, um, I'm ranting again, ranting away. But this stuff needs to be said. This stuff desperately needs to be said. Anybody who doesn't want to hear it, take a freaking hike. Take a freaking hike. Because I don't want to know you. If you're out there vaping and you don't give a flying rat's ass about your fellow vapor, if you're out there and you don't give a damn about the community of vapors worldwide well I'll give you the nice one okay that's the nice one subtract one from there for the not so nice one yeah guys like I said personal things are going to be coming up for me this week and into the following week so there won't be a broadcast next week next next Sunday um, by that time things should have settled down from all of this 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 stuff that's been going on all of this drama that's been going on here at Vapors TV um, and I should we, things should be settled down enough that we should I should know and have a good idea what I'm going to be doing and I will be posting it up on my Facebook channel um, and on Twitter exactly what's happening so keep an eye out there and uh, you should be able to see exactly what's going on 
to each and every one of you guys and gals out there who have been helping me and supporting me and being there for my channel and 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 being the the great bunch of viewers and subscribers that you are the great people that you are i say thank you from the bottom of my heart i say thank you um what what i have here what i'm doing here which may not be much could not have been done cannot be done and will not get done without your support your help and your best wishes so thank you from the bottom of my heart Ooh, ouch itchy nose I'm going to get into a fight today I hope the wife isn't feeling bad from the bottom of my heart thank you Thank you so much. And I think we're going to call the ball on this one a little bit early today. Um, it's only 43. I still got about two minutes, but I'm, I'm kind of out of it. I, it's been a crazy weekend, so I'm going to call this thing a little bit early and say thank you once again for being here today. Um, may your days... Be happy and filled with joy and sunshine. May the road always rise to meet you. May the wind be forever at your back. May God bless you and hold you in the, ho poly the, excuse me, the hollow of his hand. And may you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. God bless. Take care.